relaxing down here and recording this visual diary and giving you guys a life update on everything I've been up to since the last time I made a video. I hope you guys are doing well. Comment down below and let me know how you're doing. By the way, my name is Kataza if you're new to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're not having a good day, I hope that this video lifts your spirit. I want to just talk about a few things that have been keeping me busy. My husband and I adopted two gorgeous Labrador puppies. We have started a herb and veggie garden. We're currently cleaning up the pool and getting it ready for summer. And I bought myself a nail kit for the purpose of trying new things and learning how to do my own nails, which I'll get into. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a massive big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It and the lighting in here is not the best for making videos and I didn't want to set up my ring light I just wanted to show you guys what I bought from Mr. Price for the pantry I got these clamp jars I want to use these ones I got three of them for for the stock guys I don't like how they look so I want to Put all of the stock in each one and I also got this plastic spatula for the non-stick pan and I also got this basting brush every time I need to bake I always think that I need a basting brush and I never get to buying it but today I bought it and then I also bought a few groceries from Checkers I'll just do like a quick <laughs> food haul right here While I still have you in the pantry, I wanted to show you all the jars that I use for pantry organization and storing all the food that I use on a day to day. Starting off with these beautiful jars from Mr. Prize. I really like how they look and I think it's pretty self explanatory what is in them and I don't need to put labels. I got some rice, maize meal, cake flour, sugar, pasta and some samp. And I have this jar that I got from Pep Home for the spaghetti and I think it really looks cute. And moving on to my more recent purchase. These clam jars with ox liver stock, chicken stock and beef stock that I need to top up with. And I put these papers in here for now so that I can distinguish between the stocks because it's really difficult to tell. I also need to get stickers for... The different curries that I have in here, I bought these cute jars from Westpac and in here I got like the different curries that I use, like the regular curry. The masala, <laughs> I wrote down the names down here so that at least I know the difference. <clears throat> and then here I got the regular spices that I use in a day to day and I really would like to get the same looking spice bottle so that I so that at least it looks cute and I need to top up on some paprika I do have a lot more spices down here I just don't want to put them all in there because it's just going to be too much and then here are all the jars that I had before from Pep I put some pumpkin seeds, some muesli oats there at the back I have brown sugar, chai seeds and a baking powder and then I also got this jar from home with the biscuits inside on a high level this is what it's looking like and more things down there yesterday when I went to the shops I knew I forgot something I just couldn't put my finger on it I forgot to buy my husband coffee I'm just going to order it from Chica 6060 while we chat and there we go I'll just wait for it I wanted to tell you guys that we adopted two gorgeous Labrador Retrievers and 
they've literally changed the spirit of our home they've literally changed my heart i'm in love guys i'm in love when my husband and i were dating i used to have this idea that one day we will adopt a dog and it's just going to be the three of us and it's going to be this pet that low-key helps us practice to being parents in the future i just love it one thing about dogs they are not expensive or high maintenance like actual children we adopted them for 500 rand each and all three of their vaccinations are going to cost 600 rand we are currently spending 300 rand on their food and one thing i did not expect was for ollie to get sick so we did take him to the vet but it's still not as bad as having an actual child <laughs> Guys, these are my lovely, adorable puppies. This is Oli and Tokyo. They are so adorable. We got them vaccinated for eight weeks. They're still pending the vaccination for 12 weeks and I think 15 as well. And we also took Ollie to the vet because I was changing the brand of food that they were eating. I changed it twice actually. So when we first got them, they were eating Mantego. And then the first week that we got them, they were eating Dogmore. And then I changed it again to a brand that I don't care to mention. Um, and Ollie got sick so that meant that we had to take him to the vet because I just didn't want Ollie to die <laughs> I was just starting to get attached and I just felt so nurturing and I just felt like it was important to take him to the vet so that's what I did and I was kind of scared that they would charge me for both dogs the consult for both dogs uh, but luckily they only ended up charging me for Ollie the vet gave him an injection to stabilize the, um, the diarrhea she gave him an antibiotic, a cream, he got dewormed and Ollie also got prescribed for digestive care food which they ended up sharing. I mean they are little mates and they love that food and he actually ended up getting better in a few hours and the next day his um, poop was normal. More recently I bought them a shampoo and a conditioner i decided to go for a two-in-one because i didn't know if the dogs would fancy bathing and they bathed and they did so well i had to constantly give them treats so that they can associate bathing as a good thing and they did so well Hi guys, I am currently in the veggie and herb garden. I've just harvested a few spinach leaves. I want to cook creamy spinach as a side with some rice and some lamb stew. It's going to be such a nice hearty meal because today it's so cold. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the garden. So that over there is the cabbage. We've got some morojo here. It's grown so much compared to what it looked like when we first planted it. And here we've got baby spinach. Doesn't look like a baby anymore, honestly. And here we've got a row of tomatoes. And just in between here we've got like lettuce and spinach. And we also have on the side as well, the difference between the side and what we have going on here. Is that I wanted to see if all of those crops would grow in slightly shaded area and then this side we've got like the herb area it looks a bit uh, dry compared to the other side here we've got some basil some coriander which is growing a lot and a few strawberries and this side we've got broccoli so on a high level this is what's going on and on the other side there we've got some mint 
Yeah, guys, this is the garden. I just came back from feeding the dogs. It's currently half past six and I feel so bad because I went an hour and 30 minutes over their usual time. We have recently transitioned them from eating three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner to <laughs> currently eating breakfast very early in the morning around seven and ideally they needed to eat dinner at five because we just noticed that they were gaining weight and they've grown now they're not like small anymore or they're still small but like they're not really as small as they were before so we just want to get them used to eating twice a day so i just fed them right now and i'm currently working on our dinner which is going to be chicken wraps i'm so glad i'm making chicken wraps i just feel like it's such an easy dinner i actually asked my husband to take out the chicken breasts out of the fridge because i completely forgot that we had leftover chicken breast from the full chicken that we cooked the other day so this is the <laughs> defrosted chicken breast i was supposed to use but i actually ended up using the leftovers yeah i'm working from home tomorrow so i'm going to use that marinated chicken breast to make lunch i love it when i work from home because i get to make my husband and i like really delicious lunch i just feel like it's nice when you work from home you get to like have fresh food i like going to the office where i have to make like scuff tea and all that and i feel kind of shy sometimes eating in front of everybody <laughs> so i kind of sneak out and eat in the cubicle or something but yeah <sighs> today i went to the office guys the weather <laughs> it was raining like cats and dogs it was unbelievable but anyway here i am in the kitchen I have obviously the leftover chicken. I put some yellow pepper. I bought wraps from Spa and I harvested this lettuce from our garden. I got some cherry tomatoes that I divided in half, some gherkins for that like tanginess, and I also got red onion and cilantro. I'm a big fan of cilantro. And I'm going to be making salad dressing. I think that's what's delaying me right now because I'm not quite sure how to make this like dressing. I know it's just like mayonnaise, but like mayonnaise by itself is boring. My husband is not a huge fan of just like mayonnaise. So I think I'm going to spice it up with some Dijon mustard. This stuff, guys, is my favorite <laughs> um, new ingredient that I have in the pantry. I use this stuff on my mashed potato as well. I love this for actually making anything tangy. This is my favorite thing in the world right now. Thank you. 